I'm heading back today uh, towards Brisbane. Uh, uh, so we're at the moment I'm at uh, Yerangan uh, in the marina, which cost me uh, $46 a night. Uh, spent last night here, refueled, put water in it, and dropped my daughter back on a train to Brisbane. I head back now to, uh, along the Sandy Straits and uh, I hope you enjoy the trip. Heading for the entrance. The Rangan entrance to the marina. And, uh, we're basically going to head, head in this direction, around this island that's uh, appearing in front. Long Island and we'll go round that and down the Sandy Straits. Speaking over uh, Sandy Straits towards Fraser Island. Heading to Windward uh, down the uh, Sandy Straits. Having to bad head back home, uh, uh, back down the Sandy Straits, back to Brisbane uh, against the wind. Uh, my mother-in-law's sick at the moment, so I'm, uh, and she's 92, and so. Uh, I need to get home. There's a little sand island up there and I'm going to anchor behind it with a few other boats I think and uh, wait the day out for better weather there. It's blowing at the moment about the oh, 18 to 20 knots and uh, blowing from the southeast. Uh, not the weather to go home. Uh, pointing towards Tin Can Bay. Bit of a rainbow out there at the moment. We just keep getting a few scuds of showers. Blowing quite hard here on. Perfect rainbow heading towards me. Heading over the wide bay bar back to Brisbane. It's just sloppy at the moment and I think it'll just be sloppy all the way. Just got a full reef main just to steady the boat because we're going to windward and uh, pushing on out at 3,000 revs. 3.6 is basically flat out, well, a bit more, but uh, 3.6 but 3,000 I push on at about five and a half knots through the slot. Next 
spectacular to the side of the boat there. Wouldn't like to be going through that. Yeah, that's where we've come from so far. This is at waypoint two. Another mile to go. This is the mad mile, the next one. looking at a rainbow over uh, Double Island Point. I think I'm going to come here. I, I was thinking of going on and thank God I've got to go through the night and I might be better off getting setting off at four in the morning. So I'm going to come in here, have a sleep, have a nice meal and then uh, move on at probably five in the morning. Behind Double Island Point, <coughs> and the uh, swell's pretty bad in here, and the the winds come round a bit. So I think I'm going to head off into the dark. And uh, it's about a 24-hour uh, sail back to Brisbane from here. And uh, they say it's going to blow from the east, and it's uh, definitely getting round that way now. So I'm going to sail off. Uh, just going to get the put the sails on and uh, head off. I've got uh, Kathmandu over here and a catamaran there. I think they're going to stay the night and uh, and uh, and uh, head off in the morning. A reasonable size swell running at the moment. Shame, I don't think it comes up on a camera. I decided I'm uh, leaving there, it's, it's just too rough, so I won't get a night's sleep anyway, so I might as well keep going. Uh, winds uh, from the, uh, I think it's from the east, southeast, I think, and uh, we should have a good sail home. It's 24 hours from here, so uh, I'm going to not get a sleep somewhere, uh, so it'll be good. looking back but it's uh, the, the winds going round to the east so there's not going to be any uh, there's, the winds going round to the east so there's not going to be much shelter in the eye here anyway so I might as well go now than uh, get kicked out at two in the morning Rounding Double Island Point, and uh, we've got all these diving birds out here and little noddies, I think they are. Quite a rough, uh, no, not much wind, but there's a fair bit of swell, swell running at the moment. And uh, we're flying. We're doing about 6.9 knots on a uh, close reach. Just sitting here, tucked out the weather, watching the uh, sunset or twilight. this morning at uh, about uh, six o'clock it's still dark so I couldn't film any of the way on the way from, uh, from uh, Double Island Point but uh, 
I had about 15 to 20 knots and I was doing, uh, you know, uh, sixes most of the time, sevens and uh, eights and then I'd have to reef. And, uh, it, it, was, it was really good. And, uh, coming in, uh, I came in through uh, uh, at the top of Morton, came in the channel at the top of Morton and uh, I've not been in it before in the dark and uh, quite challenging but uh, managed that okay and uh, we've had no wind for about an hour and a half so I've, I've, I've had some sleep and uh, now we're on the move again I put a I put two reefs in as well because uh, the weather's all not cloudy in front and, uh, gonna happen. so I thought well put two reefs in and then we're going to go up the river and thanks to my mooring and uh, and I'll go and see my mother-in-law who is uh, in palliative care, that's why I'll come home. Uh, and, uh, I need to be home and uh, I don't want to be out in the reef and uh, get, a, get a radio call saying that I need to get back. So I thought the best thing to do is come home. You know, here comes the wind, I'm very pleased to put the reef in. Brisbane's quite a busy port. I think it has about 30 movements a day. So, you know, the, I've got this one coming out and I've got another one coming in behind me. <coughs> You've got to. Got to keep an eye on things coming up and down this river. Got to keep an eye on things coming up and down this river.